Hi, I'm Roberto Marquez. In this video, I demonstrate the user story for creating this Rainmaker with a 3D printer. Tools used in this project include a source control repository, namely this one from jithub.com that is seen here. And this Rainmaker.scat is uh, the, the main code for it and has its entry point in this file here. Uh, whoops. Sorry, there it is. Customizable Rainmaker in SCAD, .scat. The OpenSCAD modding language is used to program in and is available at this URL. And this is currently their homepage. A text editor is needed. I use the Atom text editor, but feel free to use whichever one is your favorite. The OpenSCAD nightly release for the native customizer is used for offline mode and is available at that URL. And you'll have to scroll down to where it says development screenshots to get the one that's specific to your uh, operating system. And for reference, I posted this video uh, a while back and is called OpenSCAD walkthrough, OpenSCAD customizer walkthrough so that you can get it installed with no problem. A slicer is also needed to create G-code for 3D printing. I used Cura. The main tool for this project is a 3D printer. I use the Creality CR10S. And if you're going to be using the online version from Thingiverse, this is the URL for that and it's currently uh, looks like that and here is uh, once you click the open and customizer you're, you'll see this and all of the uh, the options here on the left next I'm going to review the user story for this project which is in the who what why format and as a develop a 3D modeling developer, I need a Rainmaker with parameterized properties so that users can customize their own. Here is the acceptance criteria. The following Rainmaker properties are parameterized. The height, inner radius, outer radius, rotate angle, rungs per layer, the step radius, Z distance between steps and rungs on the same layer have different colors and the customizer script has an option to generate an in cap and the in cap inner radius property is derived from values of the Rainmaker and the model is manifold and the OpenSCAD application generates an STL, STL file from it and the customizer script also exists on Thingiverse. Next I'll demonstrate this acceptance criteria in the OpenSCAD nightly uh, application. And here I've already gone and through the menu options and selected file, open, uh, customizer, rainmaker. And I'll reset the view so that we're only seeing what we need to. And starting with height, I'll demonstrate the acceptance criteria and how they're parameterized. So there's three main sections of, of parameterizing of values, and the first one is shell, rungs, and then in cap. So the height is specified under shell. <clears throat> and if I decrease it to maybe about half, you'll notice it on the left hand side it goes down some. And if I actually go to half it'll be half height and the next one I'll show is so that's height the next one I'll show is the distance between the gaps so that we just have a few rungs and, and we're able to see in detail what's going on so uh, the distance between rungs I'll increase to a lot so that maybe we only have two or three in this case three and that's the distance and I'll, now I'll go back up to a inner and outer radius which is these two and that's back under shell 
and notice that up here when I increase the outer radius to say maybe 36 the whole thing increases and up to 37 and to adjust this to something that's that's usable you don't want to just print out that that big old void uh, you'll, you'll also increase the inner radius so if it's at 37 you don't want to go past that so I'm just gonna go up to maybe 34 and you can see a change there and say that was too much and you want to bring it down maybe 32 you'll see it get just slightly thicker so that was a demonstration of the inner and outer radius now the rotate angle deals with the the way that the mount that the rungs are rotated so this crosshair is one rung and if we change uh, the rotate angle you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about so it was at 25 and now I'm gonna decrease it to about say 11 so they all they all rotated 11 degrees if you bring it down to 5 you'll see that it's moving or if you want it way up uh, you can do that as well. Okay, but I think we originally had at 25, which works for my next uh, example. So rungs per layer is currently set to two, but you can set it to one, and it looks like that, and it goes all the way up to four, but you can also bring it back down to three rungs per layer. So that's that, and the step radius is configured uh, as well under rungs. And if right now it's set to one, but I've, I've been using two on some of my models, and that's what it looks like there. And it can go all the way up to five, where it's really fat. Let's go with something that we know works, like two. And I think we went over all of these. So the next thing is that rungs on the same layer have different colors. You may have noticed this earlier, but if you see that each uh, bar is a different color. In this case, we have yellow, orange, green. And if we just pick one, it's just one color. And if we go all the way up to four, we'll see blue added as, as the fourth color. So the customizer script has an option to generate an end cap is next. And that's under this. Uh, drop down and that corresponds to this yellow thing here and, and if you uncheck it you don't get an uh, in cap and if you do check it then you get an in cap you also may have noticed earlier that this uh, part of the acceptance criteria was demonstrated but I want to go over it anyway so the in cap radius property is derived from values of the rainmaker namely the outer radius of the rainmaker is the inner radius of the cap so I'm gonna go to top view and you can see that uh, this is the cap and we'll watch it get bigger bigger as the the radius the outer radius increases of the sh of the shell so that's under here and I'm gonna increase outer radius and we should see this one increase as well so that they're both growing proportionately And the, the next part of the acceptance criteria is that the model is manifold and open scat and the open scat application generates an STL file from it. So to do that in open scat, uh, you'll go to the design render option menu. And it's going to render it fairly fast because I, I had a low polygon count. And there it is. And the next thing is to get the STL by going to file, export export as STL and I already have one saved here but I'll just make this one a uh, Rainmaker demo and then you get a STL file to print the last part of the acceptance criteria is that the customizer script also exists on Thingiverse and I, I kind of already showed that but I'll, I'll go through it again so if you're on the Thingiverse website at this URL then you'll click here which I've already done to bring up this interface and here's what it looks like and just for kicks maybe I'll uh, decrease the height to maybe just 190 
and that that's what it looks like from Thingiverse. And then same thing, you'll uh, somewhere here. There's the export or create thing, and then you'll get you'll get an STL from that. Now I'll show some 3D printed models. So this one has one rung, and it's kind of short compared to the next ones, but it it, it very quickly uh, lets the balls free fall. Sorry, the beads. And for beads, I'm just using Orbeez. And this is a prototype, iteration zero. For iteration one, I got a, a taller and thinner one, but it's still only using one, one rung. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm just going to transfer the beads to this one. And you'll see that it, it's a little better, a little longer, but it's still pretty much a free fall. And that was iteration one after the prototype. And then the next one I, I printed a slightly shorter, but with uh, two rungs instead of one rung per level. So as a side bonus or maybe a defect, uh, this PLA was very stringy and I ended up getting some bonus rungs. And it sounds like this. which is quite slower than the one rung version but still not quite what I was looking for so the fourth one that I, I made uh, included the, the little nubs on the side so you can see them here and that I don't think that any adds to the sound but I think it looks nicer and it's about the same size as this one here with two rungs a little bit wider but this one has three rungs per level and it sounds a lot better. Hopefully y'all can hear that well. And so, I hope you enjoyed the demonstration of this user story and I encourage you to customize and print your own Rainmaker. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more OpenSCAD content.